Welcome back to 2230. Today, we delve into a high-profile defamation lawsuit that has scraped Singapore's political landscape. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on stories like these, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Last week, Singapore's Law and Home Affairs Minister, Mr. K. Shanmugam, and the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Dr. Vivian Bolakrishnan, formally filed a defamation suit in the Singapore High Court against Lee Shin Yang. Lee Shin Yang, who is the son of Singapore's founding father, Lee Kuan Yew, is no stranger to political controversies. The lawsuit centers around allegations of defamation related to accusations of corruption and preferential treatment. Li Xinyang is accused of suggesting that the ministers acted corruptly, received preferential treatment from the Singapore Land Authority, SLA, including unauthorized tree felling and state-funded renovations of properties. On July 27, Ministers Shanmugam and Bolakrishnan announced their intention to sue Li Xinyang unless he issued an apology and retracted his statements. They demanded a retraction of the accusations, an apology, and payment of damages, which they pledged to donate to charity. Li Xinyang responded by challenging the ministers to sue him in the UK, where he claimed to have made the statement that upset them. He argued that his original statement did not equate to an allegation of corruption or personal gain, and he criticized the ministers for insisting on what he called a false apology for words he claims he did not utter. Fast forward to the present, and the case is scheduled for an in-chamber hearing on September 5th. But what happens next? If Li Xinyang's address is unknown, the plaintiffs can apply to the court to serve the summons through various methods including email, social media, newspaper advertisements, and more. If Li Xinyang fails to submit a defense within the stipulated time frame, the plaintiffs can apply for a default judgment, securing a victory in the case and seeking compensation. Typically, the claim amount in high court civil litigation starts at 250,000 Singapore dollars. Now, Let's take a closer look at the broader implications of this lawsuit. The case not only sheds light on the intricacies of defamation law in Singapore, but also underscores the challenges faced by public figures when responding to allegations made in the public domain. It raises questions about the balance between freedom of expression and protecting one's reputation. Public figures, including politicians, often find themselves in a delicate position when addressing allegations, as they must consider the potential impact on their public image and careers. Moreover, this case is a reminder of the power of social media in shaping public discourse. Li Xinyang's use of Facebook to communicate his views and challenge the ministers to sue him in the UK highlights the evolving nature of political communication in the digital age. Now, here's where we want to hear from you, our viewers. What are your thoughts on this defamation lawsuit? Do you think it will have a significant impact on Singaporean politics and the way defamation cases are handled in the digital age? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on stories like these. Thank you for joining us today on 2230. Stay tuned for more news and insights.